Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Xy, bringing the first the first video of Dragonflight. Um, I just wanted to say I am mainly Moonkin, but I've been playing survival and like trying different things. And holy shit, it it's so much fun! It's so much fun. You're gonna see a lot of videos that are coming up, pretty much back to back to back of like the M Zero ones that I've done. Um, in the second week of the reset, so just wanted to quickly talk to you about the build that I'm running. Um, if you guys want to try it, I'll put the link down below. I've tried different builds, but this build, great single target, and insanely good AOE to keep up with, like Demon Hunters, BMs, and all that kind of stuff. So, welcome to Dragonflight. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying Dragonflight. And yeah, here is my current Mythic Plus build. Uh, and you can change it. There, there are a few things I'll, I'll mention that you can change, but I'll, I'll talk about the main points. So, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the hunter tree, and we're going to talk about the survival tree. But we're going to just really talk about the main, the main things that I feel like makes this build what it is. And you can see down here, uh, if we go overall data, you see the breakdown is Serpent Sting is at the top, Monka Spite, then you got uh, Fury of the Eagle. Uh, and butchery. So this was one of the runs I did. That was the overall. Um, but this is also the single target on the bosses and things. But I'll tell you what matches with what, and and all that kind of stuff. So first thing is down here. You you take kill shot. Kill shots already there. And then you take uh, improved kill shot for twenty five increased critical damage. That works well when you're running coordinated assault. And I'll touch on that later. And then everything here is just utility. Whatever you need to run in your Mythic Plus dungeons, you run, you can use Misdirect, use Tar Trap with Entrapment, which is good for trapping like it's in Tangle Roots, a lot of different things. <clears throat> but the main things that we want to touch on, Master Marksman, your melee and range special attacks, criticals, cause the bleed, cause the target to bleed for 15% of that damage over six seconds. So just a, it's a, pretty much another bleed. But that crit is also buffed by serrated shots by a 20% and then 40% went in execute range. So that little damage becomes big damage in boss fights. So when you think of tyrannical, even if this will be even better when you think of fortified, when there's a lot of mobs that are under 30% and it's just ticking in dots. So you have those two working together. Then you play Serpent Sting with Hydra's Bite. Hydra's Bite fires two arrows so you're firing three arrows and then the damage is increased by 20 percent you have the 20 percent of hydra spite plus the 20 percent of serrated shots and then you go into the survival tree when you have ranger and you have serpent sting increased by another 40 percent that is why over a whole dungeon you can see serpent sting is way up there because you're serpent stinging every single mob that comes into effect those surface things can crit. When they crit, you get the master marksman on on top of that. Then after the marksman master marksman dot, because it's a bleed, you have your blood seeker. All the enemies that have a bleed on top of it, you get ten percent increased attack speed. So it really works well all together. So that's this is why I run this this build here, because your bleeds and also uh, your serpent sting, because it's mostly AOE, and then also on single target. When you throw out your serpent sting, it's going to just be ticking, ticking. But this is the build, and then you just run Dev Chakram, because Dev Chakram is pretty much better. Now it does all damage rather than just physical damage uh, by ten seconds, and you still get that focus. So you just use this sort of towards the end of the Mongus by window, so you can uh, generate bigger hits for more times. This is, that is why we I, I generally run this hydrobite with serrated shots and masked marksman. Then we're going to uh, the, the tree over here. So we have it's really a nice mix of multi-target and single target because you have mongoose bite. As you can, uh, we go back to here, current 
long boost by damage is for single target it hits a lot it's a lot of damage on single target nothing nothing comes close to this and then what we want to do is we take of course flame infusion or volatile infusion like in uh shadowlands and prior before but your bombs change when you have your blue bomb when you throw your blue bomb and then you throw in your butchery your butchery hits all the targets around so if you aim aim it right if you throw the blue bomb in your butchery you're getting all the bleed the bleed targets for your blood seeker and then you run guerrilla tactics just, just get two bombs and then extra explosion does 50 percent the two main things that we want to run so fury of the ego I, I, I wasn't running this before i used to just run like that one um and then i put one into here but explosive experts not really that good i don't think so what ruthless marauder does at 50 percent less health fury of the ego can crit longer like it has uh, enchant enhanced critical strike chance so pretty much you're going to be crit critting lots of crits so the less point of ruthless marauder the higher the threshold of fury of the eagle is that you can use it to crit so at three points you get at 65 two points you have 50 one point you have it at 35. two is a good good point because you don't want to I, I tested one point in ranger over three points for ruthless marauder but um ranger was way better because you're always serpent stinging <clears throat> and you always have the kill shots as well because you're running coordinated assault and plus it helps in single target as well so being able to do it at 50 percent is still good because you can sort of go through your whole aoe combo you're throwing your double bomb into coordinated assault which when you coordinated assault in here when you have bad bombardier sorry i'm going all over the place but it's, it's, it's really really fun let me let me just talk about the new coordinated assault then the coordinated assault what it does is you leap to the target what will happen is your pet's basic attacks will buff the next action out of wildfire bomb the wildfire bomb's initial damage will be increased by 20 percent or you can use kill shot it on any target and it'll put a bleed so what it does is if you target this this mob here Press kill command first, get the pet running. There, and then you get this buff. Coordinated assault, you're empowered. So, this buff here, you kill shot, it puts uh, a bleeding gash, which is a lot of damage. Or you press your wildfire bomb, and it does 20% uh, in extra damage. So, this works well in single target, and also really works really well in AoE, because you run Bombardier, which gives you two bombs two instant bombs so you can bomb into bomb and then coordinated assault then you get to two bombs again so you can have three bombs going at once so you can bomb bomb coordinated assault bomb hold on that one charge and then you can go into your butchery each butchery um, reduces the cooldown of your bomb by one second up to five seconds and then by the time you use two butcheries the next bomb will be up you can bomb again and then you can fury the eagle while the next one is recharging if you, if you guys want to like a very in-depth i think I, I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a in-depth rotation guide that i've been trying i i, I got the um multi-target one down pat i don't have the single target one down pat yet though i'm, I'm still going to be working on that but I'll, I'll make another guide for single target and multi-target but at the moment survival is looking juice looking juice so that's my build what i'll do is i share it i'll put it down in the comments if you like it give it a try enjoy survival i might be a main moonkin for raid but survival it's like it's it's good it's good anyway if you like the video like comment subscribe do all that kind of stuff i stream on twitch.tv forward slash uh sunday mondays wednesdays thursdays but they'll pick up a little bit more etc yeah enjoy thank you love peace harmony till then catch ya